So first of all, we're gonna remove the pedal hanger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna remove this one. One, two, three, four. And we have to remove the top as well. Only clip one by two clips. <coughs> okay, so uh, that comes off this way. And you see there's one, two, three, four screw there. And four on the bottom as well. So I have to remove that. The handle come off. This is the uh, back of the chassis on the S20. Once you uh, remove all those four screws on this side and four screws on the other side, and uh, disconnect the power, the light, and the, uh, the BMS cable, the battery management cable. Uh, so turn it over. Now, the ball is in this uh, casing here, and this whole thing here is actually a heat sink. So it's very cold. So the mother ball is mounted to this and this is quite cold. So also this sits on top of this metal frame here and this acts as a cooling as well. So the whole frame is all cooling. So this bit here is actually sitting on this metal bar here and that acts as a cooling as well. So uh, yeah, so it, it does touch and you can see there, look, it's uh, this is one of the... Uh, the compound they use on that little white tape that uh, previously I saw which was on here because that came off but you don't really need that compound because they don't work quite well so uh, to get it work better it's better to use the proper compound high quality heat transfer compound and put the paste onto here and that will you can see there you can see there so so the paste will go on top of here and that will give you a better contact okay for uh, for controlling the heat dispersed. So what we're going to do now is uh, disconnect the motor cable and this whole thing will come off. There you go. Uh, there you go. So that's the uh, the control board there. You can see there. Uh, okay. The four little screws. Okay. 
to now uh, we disconnected the handle so we need to uh, unscrew these screws one two three four five six seven so once is that and uh, once you unscrew that and the four screw at the back okay this battery compartment should slide down and then it will come off
Oh. Okay, King Song S20. Uh, to remove this battery compartment, you have to unscrew the back four screw. Uh, the screw they use, these screws are too soft. So it's very hard to unscrew it uh, without damaging the thread. They need to change the screw. These screws are rubbish. So once it's tightened, you can't remove it. It's horrible. The screw is so tight. So even if I heat it up, it still doesn't turn on its slip now, look. So the screw is no good. It's all gone. Can't get it out. Ah. Ah. You see that? I have to cut the uh, into the screw here so I can put my screwdriver in and turn the screw. Damn, finally got it out. Jesus Christ. So that open up. That open up. casing it's uh you see that look it's a round t-bar yeah it's a t-bar going through and you got this uh plastic this is like this is plastic yeah so plastic is that plastic it feels like plastic is it plastic or is it metal? Yeah, it's plastic. So this is plastic. This is metal. Alloy. Ah, let's have a look. So this is a metal screw. So this is the uh, motor cable. Runs down, come onto this uh, plastic uh, holder. Uh, this is a uh, very thin attached to the mudguard. So you can see there. Move that out. And there you are. So uh, a four screw. So it's a bearing motor. Uh, looks like it's sealed quite good. So there is a seal on there. There's a rubber seal. Uh, have a look there. Yeah, that's a that's a rubber seal. So the bearing is definitely waterproof. Uh, you can see there. Yeah. Okay. So what I need to do is take the motor out, and uh, and open up the motor to see what's causing the uh, 
the, the, the clicking noise. According to King Song, uh, there's something is uh, loose inside. So I'm going to check that up now to see if there is something in there. Okay, so um, now what do I think of the S20 screws? They're horrible. Uh, because I have so many screws that slipped and uh, you need to hit it up and try to turn it. But they're quite near to like cables. So for instance, this. This needs to be hit up to unscrew because uh, the size of the screw is big but the thread that you turn is too small so the weight is not strong enough so the weight is too strong for the thread so therefore this will slip uh, it's a wrong screw they use I mean uh, the depth is not that deep either you see that so it's very uh, shallow I mean, for a screw like this, if you compare a screw, now this thread is thinner than the one is in there, but if you look at the head, it's deeper so that you can put more force in to turn the screw. But as here, if you put too much force in there, the thread will slip, okay? And once it slips, you can't get the screw out. So. This type of screw is not good enough. Uh, for that size of the screw, uh, which is something like this. Okay, so this will be the size of the screw that is in there. And if you look at that, compared to the size, it's much bigger and deeper. So you can get more force to tighten it or loosen it. But as this, this is a one way. Once you tighten it, it's very hard to untighten. Uh, and if you can't get this out, then you have a problem. You can't change the, the tire or the motor or, or, or the tube, you know, what you ever want to do. So so those are the wrong size screw. It's, it's just not the right weight for the job. Okay. And then you see here, I've got some other one, which I have... Uh, I got five of this which is slipped already and I have to cut a groove through it and the screws are very soft so it's easy to cut in and I have to use a big screwdriver to turn and to get them out so uh, again um, it's not a good screw it's, it's, it's the wrong size screw is that the weight is too it's too heavy um, yeah not a good type of screw so this is how it is without the battery compartment. That's the battery slides off from this two rail on this uh, four rubber. Well, this four plastic, one, two, three, four. And it's cushioned by this two big rubber here. Okay, so that's the cushioning. Uh, you see there, that is a broken rubber from the other side. Yeah, there you go. Uh.
Да. So you see there, um, I use the heat, gas heat, to hot that up to very hot and try to turn it as well with the Allen key with a uh, extended bar and that doesn't turn either if I do it any harder it's gonna snap and you see there the sign of about to go you see that so it's nearly there so if I turn it any harder that's gonna slip so I don't want to do that Okay, uh, now I have a problem uh, taking the motor out. Um, what's happening is, is the, the screw are not strong enough and it's stuck inside so I can't turn it. So what I have done is I use the heat, gas heat to heat this up to red hot and it's still not turning. If I turn it too hard, okay, the screw, if I turn it too high and see there, it's still there. If I turn it any harder, it will slip, okay, and I, will, I won't be able to get this out. So this frame here, this frame is bolted on four screw, so I cannot take the motor out, okay. So that means I can I can change the tire. The only way to change the tire is is to remove this and this and this three. Okay? Then the motor will have the frame on there. I can still change the tire. But I can't check the motor because this is glued in and stuck in there and I can't remove it because it's too hard to remove. The screw heads are too weak. Okay? This is the wrong screw head to use because the force to turn it it's too great and this is no good.